Bringing back mobility to those living with spinal cord injuries right here in our own backyard. The Kennedy Krieger Institute is studying a new piece of technology that could do that. WMER 2 News Ashley McDowell shows how the device could open more doors for recovery. It's as simple as dropping blocks into a container. Something Nathan Miller couldn't do six months ago. I'm very happy. Every bit of uh, independence just adds so much to my life. A few years back, he broke his neck while on vacation, leaving him with only some sensations and movements. A new piece of technology called Exostem is giving him the movement back he didn't think would return. A lot of uh, grip, like pinpointing, being able to pick up things, and a lot more stability, being stable, being able to execute something without being like, all wobbly and stuff. He's participating in a non-surgical study called Aspire. It uses a new kind of stimulator to help people recover their arm and hand functions. Transcutaneous spinal cord stimulation is stimulation applied across the surface of the skin to help increase excitability of the central nervous system. So that's the brain and the spine. Dr. Rebecca Martin, a clinician at Kennedy Krieger, says this lets patients make new connections in the spinal cord. So that's the ability to reach, the ability to grasp, and the ability to manipulate objects. Um, functionally, it transfers to things like being able to feed yourself, being able to brush your hair. 14 different sites across the country are testing the device. Kennedy Krieger is the only spot in Maryland doing so, with 10 participants. Three times a week, doctors place an electrode on the patient's neck for an hour while the patient is doing other exercises. So there's 16 individual electrodes in this array, which allows the therapist to customize how much stimulation is being delivered. Allowing it to adapt to the patient's needs as they change over time. The year and a half study is scheduled to end this fall. After that, the study will move into homes to see if people can use the device to maintain the changes made in therapy. As for Miller, he's been on a break from the device since November and still has the mobility he's gained. And I didn't even notice that I was getting stronger myself. I didn't notice until about a month after doing the study that there was a little bit more function, a little bit more feeling that was there. The final step is to use the device to hopefully get patients up and walking again. In Middle River, Ashley McDowell, WMAR 2 News.